going to use attention to start getting our dogs to recall to us. Recall is just a fancy way that you might hear us say, come when called. So dog, come, if you want them to listen to you at the dog park, a great way to start is by using that attention that we've been working on so, so, so much in step one. Um, the way that we would start is we would say the dog's name, so in this case, Captain, um, but instead of having him right next to us, we're going to throw food away, let him get it, and then Captain, and then as he comes to you, you can hold out your touch hand so he has somewhere to go. Once he's there, there's no food in this hand. I'm gonna reach under and touch his collar about here. If his head is a clock, I'm going between four and eight o'clock on his neck. I don't wanna reach over their head. He's a pretty tolerant dog, but many dogs, if you reach over their head, they'll either back up or they'll like play bow, or they might even be scared and might maybe nip. So if you have um, a dog near trying to get their collar, come means come here. We also wanna be able to get a collar grab and then treat the dog. Um, so I'm gonna have Tessa demonstrate. She's gonna throw food away from her and then she's gonna say, Captain, come. And he's gonna put his nose to her hand. And then with that hand, she's gonna reach under and just grab his collar ever so gently and then treat. I'll go over a different variation of this if your dog is head shy, which means they don't like their heads being touched. So I'll let you demonstrate that one, Captain. Right. Captain, yes. Good job. I didn't you do You notice how she didn't <laughs> say come yet, and that's okay because they haven't really worked on this yet. It's always more important to get the behavior before you name it something. Captain. <laughs> he <went for> the <laughs> <laughs> this touch signal here to get them to come, it, this, we've been teaching this as an orienting device from day one. If I want my dog over here, I can move them here or here. That sit game that we talked about a little while, that around the world sit game, that's just a variation of using touch to orient the dog. Um, if I want my dog to come here, instead of this ambiguous <laughs> come-ish, here maybe, um, and then I reach for the collar, they turn and they run, or they come back as they run away from you, or they blow you off completely. This says, I want you to come here specifically. Come means I'm going to touch your collar. I'm going to yes when I get the collar grab. If you're really struggling with grabbing the collar, you can also just practice with their food. I've got some of his dinner in here. So, touch his collar, yes. Maybe have him move towards me one step. Yes. That was a lot of dinner you just took, buddy. <laughs> Come. Yes. So it's the yes for the collar touch if your dog allows it. We have a lot of dogs here at the club that are maybe nervous or head shy. Um, for those dogs, what we could do, if I could demonstrate it real quick. Instead of having the dog coming straight at you, Captain, find it. As he's come, I sent him to the side. As he comes in this way, I can grab his collar, oops, I can grab his harness from the top with my right hand as he goes by. So if I need to get my dog in an emergency situation and my dog won't let me grab their collar, Captain, come, I can get him here. He's not gonna see my hand coming over his head and I can get my dog in case of an emergency. Some of our small dog friends have a really hard time with us leaning over them because this is big and scary. For those dogs, Captain, find it. Come. And I can put the come at my toe. Captain, come. And then as the dog gets better, I can start to bring my hand closer and closer to the dog. If you're seeing a dog that's backing up, or wincing away as you're reaching for it, you're going too fast and we have to find a different way to get your dog to understand the concept of come. If you're having that difficulty, record one trial of that and send it to either me, mmccue at gmail.com or info at NEDTC or post it in the Facebook group that we're going to be sending out to you. So that way we can all kind of help you get through this because it is kind of difficult. This is one of the harder things in step one. Um, but keeping in mind, for most dogs, sending them away. Captain, come. Touch, grab his hand, grab his hand, grab his collar. <laughs> the food that does, the hand that does not have food is the one that's grabbing the collar and then I'm treating with the other side. If your dog is doing this 
as you're trying to get the collar, it's probably because you have food in it. So make sure that hand that touches the dog does not have treats.